he's come up and re-sanded and resurfaced and stained all of our hardwood floors. So we couldn't get our house in the last three days. Thanks for being here. So we're going to simmer down. Simmer down over there. I'm going to try to eat. So we you know what? I'm going to pull out. I posted something on Facebook last night, and it's super funny, I think. It is a post um, that in 1949, the Singer sewing machine had a manual of how to run your machine and how a lady should act and prepare herself to sew. So I can guarantee you some of the men in this room are going to be like, dang, I wish I lived in 49 and was married. Because you will not see a woman, I guarantee you, around like this. And I sure hope that this pulls up. Because it is good. I know. Okay. Let's see. Huh? Yes. Okay, here it is. Um, prepare your. So this is telling a woman how to get ready to prepare to yourself to sew. to sew. Prepare yourself mentally for sewing. Think about what you're going to do. Never approach sewing with a sigh or lackadaisically. Good results are difficult when indifference predominates. Never try to sew with a sink full of dirty dishes or beds unmade. Oh, no. <laughs> when there are urgent household keeping chore, housekeeping chores, do these first so your mind is free and you can enjoy your sewing. When you sew, make yourself attr as attractive as possible. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Put on a clean dress. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Keep a little, let's see, yeah. Put on a clean dress. <laughs> Keep a little bag full of French chalk near your sewing machine to dust your fingers at intervals. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> um, have your hair in order. Powder and lipstick put on. Mm. If you are constantly fearful that a visitor will drop in your in, or your husband will come home and you will not look neatly put together, you will not enjoy your sewing as you should. <laughs> Ladies, I'm glad you're here today. We are out of our homes working. We're mingling with the men. Look at us mingle with you men. So I just want to welcome everyone and I think we're going to have an awesome 2015. We're saying goodbye to Carrie Hanks as our director and she has some big shoes to fill, but we have Clark Karras as our new director and we want to introduce him today. He is going to be such an asset to our chamber and we are so thrilled to have him. So I want to introduce him and welcome him to the chamber. Thank you. And um, he's going to take a couple minutes to just let you get to know him a little bit. Okay, thank you. You really don't give a Greek a couple of minutes. Uh, I'll set a timer. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, like I tell people, I, we talked so much it took us 400 years to kick the Turks out of our country. So, you know, we stopped talking to each other one day and said, hey, wait a minute, who are these guys? And in 1822, we booted them out of the country and, you know, it was ours. But this, honestly, when I met with your executive board and the board, I told them this is coming home for me uh, and actually uh, you know I probably still have some uh, road gravel from out there where an Angus steer drug me across uh, the paddock out here when I was showing cattle and uh, you know and as I, 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 I laughed and joked with Carrie this morning I mean uh, her and I both know how to goose sheep, so don't ask, and just know that my hands are washed and purell you know, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I grew up here. Um, Spanish Fork, uh, Benjamin, and Salem. South Utah County provided me the foundation that I have stood on. It provided me the foundation that I stood on at the Utah State Capitol. It provided the foundation that I stood on in Red Square in Moscow. 
It provided the foundation for me that I stood on at the Parthenon at the Acropolis. I mean, in Rome, uh, and it stood, uh, Spanish for people who know me. John McCain, Mitt Romney, John Huntsman, Gary Herbert, Val Hale, who is the new director of uh, the Governor's Office of Economic Development. If you know me, you know I am from Spanish Fork. You know I am from South Utah County. I bleed red and gray. Um, I actually do know what a Don is. Uh, I, I met a Don in Spain, you know. <laughs> I mean, I saw a windmill in Spain and Morocco. Uh, but as I explained, every time I get off the freeway here, um, there's something that happens, there's a transformation where I feel, uh, I feel great big arms reach around me. And this is a safe place. And what I'm seeing is somebody, uh, they asked in the executive board what I thought of when I thought of Chamber of Commerce. I can tell you a lot of things that I think of with Chamber of Commerces around the state. But with this Chamber of Commerce, with what Kerry has accomplished, with what you all have accomplished, uh, with the leadership and the guidance that you provide, there is just one word that rings out, and it rings out true, and that is unity. And I watched it. Um, I saw it. Uh, I had heard about the uh, Halloween uh, the candy and the kids and everything. And I thought, oh, okay, you know, I mean, I'd seen it at the malls and stuff, you know, kids running in and out, you know, their parents dumping them off at the mall and things like that. But I, my baby sister happened to be here with her children from Las Vegas and we got a patty meld at Barry's and we went over to the park and, you know, took them over and show, showed them the statue that as a kid, I, I came down the canyon with the, uh, the group that recreated Father Escalante and Dominguez's you know, journey into the valley. And all of a sudden, sitting there at those picnic tables, there were families and kids. You would look down the street, and for blocks, they were walking and they were coming. And nobody was in cars, you know? It was an outing. And the parents were dressed up, and they were holding the kids' hands, and the kids were skipping. And I'm like, where's Norman Rockwell? You know, I mean, where's Norman Rockwell when you need him to paint a picture of this? And, you know, and they were gathering. And, uh, you know, I, when we were done with the lunch, I thought, do I even dare drive down Main Street? I mean, and I drove down Main Street and I had never seen anything like it. It was like a bunch of space aliens had invaded, you know, but they were having fun and they were families. And it wasn't just a bunch of kids turned loose. And then I saw the same thing on, um, you know, the Fiesta Days Parade, which I've always loved. I mean, the Fiesta Days Parade, I mean, I have to tell you, living in Salt Lake, I was so looking forward to going to the days of 47. They've got nothing on the parade down here. And I know sometimes somebody might go, oh, you know, there wasn't enough floats, there wasn't enough bands, you know, whatever. When I saw, and I know it is one, it's one faith, but it just represents to me what the youth are. And when those young men came through and they were dressed how they were dressed and with their staffs, you know, and there were all of these kids that wanted to participate and be these stripling warriors. Again, it rang to the unity of this community. And uh, same thing when uh, Officer Corey Ride was shot and the other gentleman who was a Spanish forker, but you know, there was only one thing that my mother wanted to do. A woman who spent 60 days in ICU five years ago, who rarely gets out of the house, who is crippled in her own way, 
and she made sure she had gone and found the American flags that she had, and we stood on Main Street, and I looked up and down the street, and then I saw on the news, and again, the theme of unity, and you as business owners, you as business people, you provide that. I mean, you provide that. And the common courtesy that you show the people here is translated to the common courtesy they show you, and then they take that same common courtesy home with them. And I, I you know, I've worked for the first time in my life, uh, the last two years I worked retail at Christmas. One thing I will tell you, do not buy clothes at Christmas, especially if you have to have them tailored. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, and if you do find a tailor, make sure you find one with an accent. They are much better. Uh, or either a sweet little uh, Jewish lady, and she, they're wonderful. But the one thing I saw was, you know, a lot of people talk about the lack of common courtesy from the customer. What I saw was a lack of common courtesy coming from some of the peers that I worked with. And I think that what happens on Main Street, what happens, you know, with the new build out and things like that, which it, to me is just nothing but an extension of Main Street, especially in this community. I can drive down and I can, I can get gas at Costco. I can go to Five Guys, I can drive across the street. Uh, you know, Andy Schlein was a dear friend of mine, so I still frequent the McDonald's here. Uh, I never feel like I'm off Main Street. And that's the feeling that I hope that I can bring. Uh, I would love to see us have to outgrow this room, uh, but I am so incredibly happy to be home it's time for me to come home. It's time for me to share, uh, to open my black book and see what eyes I can put on this community. Uh, when I see the cities uh, surround yourself with Spanish Fork, surround yourself with the South Utah County, uh, it's absolutely true. Uh, I have never felt at home like I feel here. Uh, you know, from Springville South, uh, yes, I am guilty of having painted the Payson P. Red once. Uh, yes, I'm guilty for uh, making sure that certain eggs from Lakeshore Egg Farms were rotten enough to throw on the last night of school. Uh, you know. You're being videotaped. <laughs> yes, oh, okay. I know. And it, but the statute of limitations is over. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that much, that much I do know. Uh, but my grandparents, my grandfather had a business on Main Street, Pages. My uncle had a grocery store on Main Street, Roe Harrison. Uh, you know, I grew up ditching school and eating hash browns and gravy at Jack's, you know, and. Uh, I, I still, when I come to this community, uh, my mother, if I take her shopping, uh, we live in Benjamin, and she's still, why do you have to drive down Main Street? And I just say, because I'm home. I mean, when I drive down Main Street and I turn, I, and I head that way, I know I'm home. And I, my, my door's open, my mind is open, and uh, the only thing that I can do from all of you is learn the direction that you hope goes. I have to compliment Carrie. Um, I know she was able to do it because anybody that can herd sheep uh, can take care of a chamber. <laughs> so it's not... It's not, it's, it's, it's not quite like herding cats. Sheep do end up where they're finally supposed to go. Uh, it typically takes a goat with a bell on, so consider me the goat with the bell on, and uh, you can hear me, but I, I just, I need any feedback. I'll take any feedback, 
And I just love the opportunity that you've given me the faith to go out. And I'm not going to try to do it. I'm going to do it. So thank you. Thank you. Are you guys super excited for him to be our goat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I would like for all of the board to stand up so everyone can see who will be, what, sustained, inaugurated, what recognized, recognized installed. installed next Friday night at the Shalon. So everyone stand up. Can we start back here with Bryn, and go around, just tell everyone your name and what business you're with, and then we'll just kind of circle around. Uh, I'm Brett Wignall with Wiggy Wash Car Washing Express Detail Center, and uh, all this salt and grime on the roads, come in and find out the true color of your car. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Mendenhall with uh, Rock Canyon Bank here on Main Street in Spanish Fork, and represent the uh, city council to the, the chamber, so I'm happy to be here. I'm Todd Dickerson from Dickerson, Iowa. We're going to work on Main Street. I'm Kevin Dunn. I'm with uh, Big O' Tire here on Spanish Fork Main Street. And uh, we do all kinds of tire and service work both. I'm Brady Amundsen. I'm with uh, Serve Pro. We're actually out in Linden, so not on Main Street. But I'm here all the time. I grew up here, so it's, it's all good, right? <laughs> it is. So we do flood and fire cleanup and restoration. They help me. They're wonderful. <laughs> um, I'm Lance Wilson. Um, I'm State Farm Agent here in Spanish Fork on Main Street. And uh, Brady does come help with our clients a lot. But no, I'm grateful to be on the board. And uh, this year I get to serve with uh, Stacy as on the executive board as the vice president. But uh, it's good to be here. And it's good to see everybody here. A lot of people. And I'm Stacy Beck, and I get the privilege of serving as president this year. And I work for Utah Valley Magazine. And so not even in the city, but I love being part of the community that I grew up in as well. <clears throat> I'm Heather Hone with Blaine Hone Excavating. And that's about it. Oh, and we have an animal rescue, Utah Valley Animal Rescue. So go on our Facebook page and like it. And you can see all the critters available. <laughs> Uh, my name is Chris Baird. I'm with a company called Serve Daily. Uh, we're the new local newspaper in town. And we just ask everyone to do a random act of kindness each day. And I am Don Davis with Denerson Dental. We're also not on Main Street, but proud to be a part of the chamber. Thank you. Let's give everyone a round of applause. Okay, if you are a Platinum member, please stand up and let's have all of the Platinum members introduce themselves. There are several here. Okay, let's start on this side this time and come around. <laughs> you should be a Platinum member, right? You are. Malkovich with uh, Mikhail Christiansen and Wines. <laughs> I'm Amber Smithson and I'm a certified health coach with Take Shape for Life and I see so many people here, clients and friends and just a quick story, someone told me today they won my book this summer at one of our luncheons and he lost 20 pounds and I was like yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tracy Worthington with Costco Wholesale. I'm a marketer for the Costco and Spanish Fork. And Heather Hone again. <laughs> this is my husband, Blaine. Blaine Hone Excavating. I'm Carrie Hanks, and uh, Carrie's Designs Floral is proud to be a platinum member of this wonderful chamber. Thank you. Kevin Dunn. I'm with Big O Tire, and uh, we've been a platinum member for a few years, and. I'd really recommend anybody to give that kind of support to the to the chamber. It's just been phenomenal for us. Uh, I'm Mike Smith. I had to check to see if I was platinum or not. But <laughs> told me to stand up. So um, I'm with Doug Smith, and we're soon to be Doug Smith Chevrolet on the other side of the freeway where Danny Menhold is. And we're also uh, bringing the Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge brand back next door to that. So. Um, just in case there wasn't any confusion, we have Smith Ford and now Doug Smith 
on the other end, but we're happy to be here, happy to be part of the community. We're in American Fork right now, for anyone that doesn't know us, and uh, i just happy to be here. I'm Brad Tanner with Triple T Plumbing, Heating, and Air, and uh, this is the first year I've not been on the board for a while. I'm, al I'm already messing it. <laughs> uh, so. we'll, we'll have to have lunch and talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rock Canyon Bank, uh, Platinum member, and uh, we're grateful for our membership in the chamber and to be a Platinum member. Uh, Brent with Wiggy Wash again, and uh, you know, it's been a, a great opportunity to be a member of the chamber and uh, to be a Platinum member and, and to be able to network with the different businesses throughout Spanish Fork. We have a unique uh, community here that uh, really has a sense of pride and, and uh, a lot of sharing and it's a uh, it's great to be a part of that All right. one more round of introductions who has never been to one of our new networking luncheons if you've never been here stand up oh dear am i the only one no you're not the only one i see a couple two faces tv yes we got more of you Several, see? Okay, okay. so if you're new, the four of you that are new, introduce yourself. Let us know who you are, where you're from, and what your <coughs> The camera is. is right there. So, so yeah, look right over there. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Vandy Thorpe. I'm actually Amy Lynn's assistant, so I'm her behind the scenes gal. And I'm glad to work for Amy. I like what I do. I really have had a past with real estate and title, so I hope I. Do Amy, good job. She's but, yeah, she is. yeah. So I'm her assistant, and I actually lived in Salem, but I recently moved to Mona, so I'm kind of like between the two counties, I guess. Both great communities, though. <laughs> yeah. So welcome. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jen Smith. I'm with John Barry Nels. I uh, joined about six months ago, and kind of exploded and realized I needed to learn a lot more about business and behind the scenes and the local community. So I kind of just jumped in. I'm Jeff Walker. Those of you who know Josh, I'm his father. And uh, recently retired from the church's agricultural company. I oversaw the cattle ranches financially and lived in Florida for eight years doing that. So now I'm retired, I'm starting a new company. We're building what we call micro homes and uh, we'll build sheds. And one of our big things, we like to build off the grid homes where you have uh, solar power and things of that nature. <coughs> I'm Steve Tanner. I'm with Triple T, Plumbing, Heating, and Air. It's good to be here today. First time in one of these. So. That's what? shocking, Steve. <laughs> What's that? That's a lot of years. Has Brad overpowered you <laughs> yeah. for all these years and now you feel you can come in and yeah. uh, join good. the crowd? It's <laughs> good to be here. <laughs> 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 okay, let's turn it over to Carrie. <coughs> so this is this is hard. Uh, I'm excited for Clark to take over the leadership of, of this group. It's been um, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you don't get to see this very often, so if you, anybody wants to take pictures, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I don't cry very often, but um, I'm really excited for the chamber and the direction that we're all headed. Um, I've joined the chamber as Play and Plug Spanish Fork. We will continue uh, to support the chamber in any way that we can. As a, as a corporation, I'm a platinum member with my floral, so you're going to see a lot of me. I'm trying not to get in Clark's way too much, but you know me, I'm kind of bossy, so he's probably going to have to put up with a little bit of that. Hey, I had five, sis I had five sisters. I'm, I'm used to bossy. So, so it'll be good, but I just want to thank each and every one of you for your support over the years. Five years in this position, I have made tons and tons, millions of friends and connections, and I just appreciate those connections and all of you as my friends and um, I just want to say if you haven't signed up for Plan Plugged it's time let's get it done so we've got about um, 20 more tags to sell 
in this in this community in Salem so if you've been wanting to know more about the program or if you should um, do it for your business please reach out to me and let's talk about it it's not you know I mean it might not be for your business but I have ways that you can get involved I will still be running the Spanish Fort program this year as I train Clark um, in that uh, as a company um, Play and Plug's very proud to have newly revised their contracts and now the Chamber of Commerce will earn 20% off of all of the tags that you purchase for the program which is a huge boon to the to the Chamber we're talking about in the neighborhood of from our performance last year uh, 15 to 20 thousand dollars will go into the Chamber's coffers so I am very very excited to bring that to the chamber and to this community. So uh, I just want to say thank you again, and I love all of you. And it's now time for the drawings. Randy? 